We're going to see if we can upload a CD into the Evoke. So rather than having to bring your CDs with you all the time, there is a way of uploading them into what they call a virtual CD changer. So you've got your CDs all stored digitally and you can keep your actual CDs at home. So we've got George helping us today, aren't we, George? Hello. Hello, right, and George. So we're going to hopefully prove this is so easy. George can do it. How old are you, George? Um, I'm nine. You're nine, right. Okay, so go on then, George. So what have we got to do? We haven't actually done this before. We think we know how to do it, don't we? All right, so we're going to press home. Go on, then, let's have a look. Is it going to go? Audio, try audio video, George. Uh, audio video. Right, we may have to start the car. Let's have a go, right? Should I start this? Yeah, press the start button. Right, it's playing an advert. Here we go, right, we're on home. Right, don't worry, it's just because the doors are open, it's beeping. Audio right, so yeah, make sure people can see what you're doing, George. Okay, so we've got an audio video, right? Here we are. Okay. What uh, volume, audio volume? Just it's audio. doing. My music. That's it. My music. That's it. Right, please connect the iPod. Now, hold on, we're not going to... What? Right, now we need to go on my music. We need to try and go on to CD, don't we? Press the plus button, George, see what that does. Ah, uh, right, and then CD, yeah, not too quickly, so everyone can see. Right, and it says, please insert disc, so... We already have a CD with us, now 85, we're just gonna... Uh, right, yeah, just put slide it in there, George. That's it. Picture Didn't. side up. Hold on, George, hold on. I think you might have... Oh, there we go. Yeah, right, right then. Load in the disc. Right, now it should then prompt us with some options to save it. So here we go, it's analysing the disc, it's loading the disc, right, track list, now, okay, so it's now started playing, but we now need to work out how to save it, so I think we can press the My Music button again, can't we, George? Right, go CD, oh, well, there's stored CDs as an option there, CD, try the stored CDs. Right, stored CDs is empty. Up, okay, uh, the upload. upload, right? That's it. So, so you have to go to stored CDs and then upload. What right, do? and then it's got here. Now these one, two, three, fours. These are the discs you've got stored. So you can see at the moment we haven't uploaded any disc. So let's upload this to disc. So I guess we could upload this to disc number three if we wanted. Let's let's put it in something random. Obviously, normally you'd do it in number one, but let's just see if that works, George. It's three. Three. So now you've got to press the upload button, George. Upload. Upload. Okay. And then it's saying it's going to upload the CD into slot three of the virtual CD changer. Actually, let's go no and put it in slot one just to show people it all works. Now you've got to press the upload button, George. Oh, keep on forgetting that. Keep on forgetting. Upload. Yes, we want it into slot one, don't we? Yes. yes. All right, let's give this a bit. Right then. Stall CDs empty. Oh, right, uploading. and then it's got a little uploading. That's it. Well done, George. So it's got an uploading, and it's got 0%, and we'll watch that go, hopefully, to... Um, Should we skip to, it in the video? We will skip it in the video, George, but uh, there you go. I just wanted it to go to 1%, George, and then rather than watch this tediously, we will stop now, and then we'll come back and join you again when it's at, like, 99 or something. Should we do that, George? Yep. yep. Right, we'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so it's just finished it and it's reverted to this screen. So now if we go back to My Music, we should better see we've got one CD. So do you want to do it, George? Yeah, make sure we can see. Okay, so go to go to audio video. Yeah. Put your finger out so I can see it. And then go to My Music. Okay, and then go to C go to C D. Oh stored C D, sorry George, yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. You just do it with one finger and then we can see everything else like that. That's it. Okay. Now, so if you go browse, it should, we should be able to see which CDs. It should be able to see that we've only got one CD in there, gone it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we can now see that we've got CD1 in there. And we can actually... Can we click on CD1 now, George? Okay. And then, yeah, it goes to track list. Now, if we go to track list, now, I don't think we've imported one of these. Now, that's what I call music. And I'm not sure it's got the 
artists in, but let's have a look. If we go track list, George. Yeah, so it hasn't imported all the track. Click on track one, see if it's got any artists, George. No, it just shakes you. But I think if you use a different CD, it will come up with the artist. So if you just wanted to change track now, you just click on track three. Just... Yeah, or scroll down. And I don't think we can edit those in any way. Um, just see if we can edit them in any way. George, go back. Go settings. See what settings we got, George. That's just no. Go back. Just go back button. Yeah. So you, if it doesn't bring it in, it doesn't look like you can rename them. But that's basically how to upload a CD, and you can eject that CD now and put that one back in the. Put that one back in its packet, and then next time you get in the car, you've got that CD all loaded into the music system. So we're going to do this again now and we're going to try with another CD to see if it imports the name. So we've got uh, Best Off Oasis. Let's see the album cover, George. Uh, okay, so hopefully this will come through. So okay. right then. So what are we going to do, George? You're going to do it again. So go audio setting, audio video. So I'll bend those other fingers back so we can see. And then my music. That's it, the little plus there. Um, let's have a go. Stored CDs. Is it going to give us a little upload button? No, but put one in there. The upload button's not active, so let's load the CD in. No, you don't need to eject it, George. Just slip it in. Just put the CD in. I say it'll eat it. Right, and let's have a look if we'll get the upload button this time. It's loading the disc. So the, the upload doesn't become active until it's got a recognised disc in there. So go back to my music then, George. Now we've got the thing in there. That's it. Right, and then stored CDs. I know it should give us the upload option this time. There it is. Point it out, George. Yeah, select that one then. Then it's going to ask us which CD we want to put this in. So we'll put it into slot two. So press the upload I'm button. I'm never going to use it, so I'm going to... Okay. Oh, you want to put it in 10, do you? Because it's not your favourite, no. Right then. Upload to disc 10. Go on then. Alright, and so there we go. Is it uploading? Yep, yeah, so there we go. We've got the uploading. So we'll let that one upload and then we'll come back and see if that's got it and got all the uh, artist titles. Hopefully that will come up with the artist titles. We haven't found a way. We've just been playing and we can't find a way of editing them. Um, even if you go here and go to the I button, um, you can't edit it. It says no title. So hopefully this uh, other CD will come up with the correct titles we'll see how we go we'll join you in a minute okay so we should have this one just going 98 99 100% it's got the upload is complete screen okay so then we should better go so at the moment Okay, so it's got here track 10 of 22, which looks like it's on, uh, let's go back, disc 10. So we go stored CDs. Okay, ooh, let's go back. Browse. Now, George has put it down at number 10. So, there we go. Right, so this time, yeah, it has come up with the track lists. So if I go track list, so some CDs, depending on it, will give you the um, will give you the title. And if we press the information button, if we go back a screen, let's have a look. If we go back and we press the information button, yeah, it's got the details there. So yeah, that first disc wasn't a good example because it didn't import the track names. It was one of those now 82, but it looks like if you use the standard albums, it will uh, import the track names. There we go, so good luck playing with your CD system, or at least your virtual CD system.